Welcome back to Briggs on Books, a truly international talk show. You know, we've been a regional Central California show for since 2008, and then COVID came, and we had to learn a whole new technology, something called Zoom. Have you heard of it? Now we get to talk to authors from all over the world every day, and it's just a, been a great, uh, fun adventure for us. We've grown. Our YouTube just hit a million views. Go check out our interviews at uh, youtube.com dash slash Central Valley Talk. You'll find us. Anyway, uh, another fascinating guest uh, coming up right now, uh, and her name is Dawn Earhart Witty. Welcome, Dawn. Thank you so much for having me back. Now that we're an international show, where are you located? I'm in Los Angeles. Oh, in same LA. Same state. Oh, same state, just down the road a little bit. Now, a little bit. you're an author, uh, and I'm going to put up your latest book here because I just happen to have the cover of it, but you're also a life coach. Tell us about that. Well, I have been a student of psychology my whole life. When I was in college, that's what I studied. And um, I just didn't really, it didn't resonate with me, the traditional psychology. So fast forward a little bit, went into work, then had my kids, stayed at home mom. And then when they were in college, I went back to college for psychology. And I still wasn't quite feeling it. Mm. It wasn't resonating. So I found life coaching. I discovered yeah. that. And I was like, that. Who needs a life so coach? Who needs a life coach? By the way, everybody. 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 Does. Yeah. I have. I have one. Nice. nice. What types of people are you coaching them in business or in life or approaches to life? Tell me about that. It's it's more mindset and personal development. So right. anybody in the world, my my target audience are people that want to make be the change they wish to see in the world. You know, people that want to make a big impact, big difference, mm -hmm. get over some limiting beliefs, things that are holding them back. Those are my targets. yeah limited beliefs that maybe the one, number one obstacle. Uh, yes, I have them. <laughs> yeah. I heard somebody yell at somebody the other day because this person they were yelling at is always, you know, oh, this is happening to me and that's happening to me. And, you know, my boss is doing this to me and I was driving down the road and the other drivers did this to me. And they yelled at the guys and get over that. Things aren't happening to you. But I don't think you fix somebody by just yelling at them one time, right? No, and it doesn't solve anything. I think we need to ask ourselves the bigger question about who do we choose to be? Who do we want to show up in the world as? Who do you want to show up as? And what about the description of the person I was talking about that everything's happening to them all the time? Oh, I know somebody like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you have to understand that there are things that happen to people all over the world. I work with children in Africa. Yeah. You know, so seeing what they go through and their experiences, I look at everything in my life as a blessing no matter what yeah. is happening. I have an interesting approach to business, and that is that everything that happens around me, I have an influence over that. And if I want to change things, you know, it's me. So when a customer doesn't show up when they're supposed to, my workers say, well, that guy, he should have shown up. I said, no, no, it's us. We probably didn't really uh, tell him the exact time or the directions or something. So I, I try to internalize everything. Um, I don't know if you could fix that in a person, but that's what I do. <laughs> Well, I don't know that that's always the best way to go, but at least you're not projecting it out. Yeah. And by the I, I just say in situations like that, things happen. You yeah. know, life happens. Things do come up. Yeah. And so don't, it's not negative or positive. It just is what it is. It just happens. I'm going to yeah. put your uh, – the now you have a whole bunch of books. Are they all on life coaching? Um, most of them are. I have a couple. Um, the one that came out in February is a children's book. And it's oh, yeah. kind of life coaching for kids. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very simple instructions about believing in themselves and, you know, just trusting that there's something that has their back. That's nice. Yes. I'm going to put the cover. I think this is your most, your latest book, your most recent book, uh, The uh, Secrets of Being, and it's a workbook. Tell us about yes. that, please. So I've been working on this for three years. It started out as four chapters and then it grew to not nine chapters and uh it's just some of those aha moments things that i've learned along the way through my life coaching through my, my psychology education and, and things to help us just tweak the way we view the world and the things that happen in our lives so that we can be more grateful and see things in a, a healthier way so that we can be happy and not not ruminate in things yeah. and get over those limiting now, uh, it is a workbook, so it's just something you, you, you work on yourself. Is there places to write in it and things like that? 
Yes, there's a bunch of journaling prompts. There's, um, you know, questions, there's affirmations, mm. things like that. Affirmations, yeah, that's great. Uh, uh, I like that. I'm going to get this book, in fact, because uh, I'm like you. I think everybody can use a, a life coach, just even somebody with a different perspective. And sometimes I can't see the forest for the trees kind of thing and have a big brother or a big sister her little sister standing by say, hey, did you know this? Do you know that? Or why don't you just get the different way of thinking or something like that? So um, I, it sounds like this workbook will be a good start for me in that direction. Where do people get it, by the way, the book? It is on Amazon. Okay. It is on Amazon. That's uh, the only where, place it is right now, but I think I'm going to add it to my website also. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you about your website because we have it on the screen for our viewers to see, thesecretsofbeing.com. What uh, what will our viewers find there? Um, well, a description of what you're going to read in the workbook. Okay. And I also have the life coaching packages where people can see, you know, what what my audience is. And again, I really want to talk to people who want to be the change they wish to yeah. see in the world. I want to empower those people because people with those hearts are going to be the ones that do change the world. Yeah. So uh, it's a big step that people recognize they need to ha have some change. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, is it a big step for people to realize they need to make a change or have some change in their life? Yeah, I think so. I mean, for a long time, you know, when I was raising my girls and everything, I was just doing the things like waking up every morning, packing the lunch, you know, just kind of living the routine life and not even realizing there was a bigger world out there. And I wasn't fully embracing the, my own gift that I had to bring to this world, mm. you know? And I think that we all kind of get caught in that rut sometimes yeah. about doing the daily things and not realizing there's a big magical world out there. Right. What I'm trying to get to is do the people who really need a life coach or a lot of them, they don't even realize they need a change or they don't realize they need a coach. Yeah. And again, I think everybody could use a coach, yeah. just like you had said, like we all have blind spots that we can't see yeah. because we're in our own perspective. So it's always helpful to have somebody, you know, from a different outside perspective, giving you some feedback saying, well, maybe did you consider this or have you thought about it in this way? And it's very helpful. Yeah. Right. But you got to be open for that. So yes, you do. Yeah. Um, so I guess someone like me, I'm going to start with the workbook. And then is there a way to sign up with you to be our life coach? Or do you do one on ones like that? Yes, yes. Um, we're adding those packages to my website okay. as we speak. People will be able to find them and kind of get an idea of what they're in for, where, where they're yes. going to end up. And are you mostly working with people? I mean, Zoom, has that opened up your world to be able to help people? You say you're helping people in Africa and things like that? Oh, gosh, the Internet. You know, I know for all the negative things that happen with the Internet that, you know, there's also so many positive things. I mean, I get to work with people in India and Africa and Europe, and it's amazing. So I love I love the Internet. Yeah, it's and really. Zoom. Yeah. Like the Zoom has changed our life, you know, just, you know, I always rejected these remote calls. They're too hard. But now it's almost all we do. We get to talk to people further away like you in Los Angeles. So. Um, we're, we're running out of time, and I'm take, hogging all the time with my questions. Uh, what do you want our viewers to know? Well, I have to share this story, and I, okay. I don't want to make it too long, but I was asked to do your talk show years ago, uh -huh. and it was, you know, you're several hours away from me, and I was really considering going up to Fresno to do the talk show and everything. But I was like, oh, you know, I've got dogs, and it was, like, really kind of hard to, like, make that work in my schedule. And then – because the world shut down for COVID. I've been on your show with the sixth time, the fifth yeah. time, I don't know. So it's so funny the way the universe like opens up opportunities yeah. for you, even in something that was seemingly negative, which COVID was not a wonderful thing. Yeah. It did also offer different ways of doing business and doing work. So um, I just, uh, the last message I always love to share with people is, you know what, we all have the ability to make the world a better place. And just in every interaction we have, Smile at a stranger, be kind to the person in traffic, whatever it is, you know, just just be positive to someone else. And it really helps your energy. Yeah. too. I've been trying to do that, but it's something I have to do consciously. I always have to be thinking, you know, get your energy up, get your energy in the right place before you go in the room, because I'm naturally just an old cranky guy. So um, <laughs> so maybe a life coach can help you get your head in that place, for example. I don't know. Well, I don't believe that you're a cranky guy, <laughs> but it's true. It is a mindset. It's really a mindset. Yeah. Just because you 
think you recognize that there, there's a limiting belief you have mm -hmm. doesn't mean what the mindset is like you don't allow it to control you doesn't mean they go away it just right. means that you have developed the skills to say no i'm not listening to that voice okay. well i'm inspired the little time we had i'm inspired just talking to you just the uh, there's a possibility it's a possibilities out there possibility for change and and i am going to get the workbook and work through it then i'm going to have you on and ask you a million more questions wonderful i love that <laughs> all right don thank you last thoughts for our viewers oh just just be the change you wish to see in the world be the change you wish to see in the world all right don i'm going to close i'm just going to leave the cover of the book up there for our guests uh our viewers to copy down i'm going to leave the website up for a minute so uh copy that down and we're going to be back with another author in just a few minutes so don't go anywhere we'll be right back <laughs> 